What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we are on the Scrolls test server because today there was a test server patch. Um, the test server is now updated to 1.10. Uh, right now, the live server, I believe, is on 1.01 .01 because obviously 1.0 is when release happened about a, a couple months ago, and um, this uh, test server update is pretty exciting. The main thing that was added was customizable idols you can find in the store there are two idols here masked effigy and arcane conduit um, people have been asking for customizable idols on the battlefield for a long time now and it looks like they're gonna finally start making their way in the game and considering there's like a whole idol section of the store now um, I suspect that we'll be seeing more than just these two and we'll see a lot of idols coming in um, these prices are just arbitrary for the test server um, they're not going to be as cheap as 160 or 60 gold when they eventually come to live the live server um, and uh, it looks like you're going to be able to buy them with shards or, or gold so I'll just go ahead and buy both of these right now and there is a a new achievement added um, which you get when you buy an idol so then we're just gonna buy both of these works just like the avatar parts you buy it becomes sold out and it does say when I when you click on it expires seven days from now um, I'm not sure does that mean they're gonna when these come to live like they're gonna have exclusive idols that are only out for a limited amount of time um, I think that'd be really really cool because I think exclusive items are what really makes players come back to the game often. So I kind of like that idea of having idols expire. And uh, just looking at these two new idols. Um, masked Effigy. This looks kind of like Decay-ish. But then like Effigy, like Effigy of the Queen, that word's used in order. And then Arcane Conduit looks like some kind of energy machine kind of little thing um conduit is um a word used in um both energy fulmination conduit and uh decay anima conduit so you can change the idols just by going to your profile click on edit, edit avatar and they are right here so each player starts with these two idols um if you didn't if you got the game in the last two months uh, you might have known that all opponent idols used to be used to look like this. Um, they changed when 1.0 came out. Um, all the idols looked like this, but it used to have these as your opponents, these as your regular ones. So these two idols everybody will have in the beginning, so you could choose one of them. And then I guess the other idols will sh be shown here. So uh, let's just see how these work. Um, this is actually my first game I'm going into it with. So I clicked the. Oh yeah. Also, one more thing on the test server. All the the pre-construction deck contest is over um, so all these decks were added uh, these four decks and um, yeah these were made by the community in the contest uh, giving credit right there that's cool so you got you can pick the and obviously these prices are not official either interesting they decided to put them in front of uh, all these other decks like starts with these all the way at the bottom now, the tiny feet and the machine doom. Machine doom has its end machine cut off now. I guess the, uh, the name is just too long. And there's also Beauty and the Beast and Unseizing Ordinance. Unseizing Ord. And I, is that missing an I? Ordinance? It doesn't say Ordinance, it's just Ordinance right there. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like Roller Ross's art is recolored. Um, well here he's just green and his unit art looks the same but if you just saw he definitely looks different like right here he looks like blue but then here he looks green so I don't know and let's go into also what I noticed I guess what happens when nobody plays a ranked match in a week if there's just no weekly winner batch for the most ranked wins of the week because only three are here on the test server because nobody plays ranked on the test server. Just an interesting thing. Alright, 
Enough dilly dallying. Let's see what these idols look like. Okay, so it just it just uh, just does your side. I did not know that. I thought it was gonna cover both sides. Um, it's a little annoying because my opponent is probably gonna take a while to damage my side. Uh, I assume that they're gonna blow up with the same like blowing up animation as normal idols. Um, and obviously, or I'm not, I I think they're gonna become like cracked, right? Because these crack when you hit them like a little bit. And the lower health they go, the more cracked they become. So let's see if my opponent can just get some idle hits in here. I'm just going to keep ending my turn. Come on, stop playing one health, one attack, Gravehawk. All right. And will one one point of damage be enough to make a change in the appearance? Yes, it does. All right, so that's cool. This looks like it's all like bent and beaten up and I don't really feel like letting the easy actually I should, probably should have switched to hard AI but letting them just hit all these idols um, you guys I believe the test server is open to the public still on Mondays or Sundays was it I think Mondays um, so you guys can check that out all over yourself see what the see what this looks like when it's really close to dying and the other new idol too and That'll be it for today, so like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, right here in miscellaneous uh, changes in this tiny balance, um, actually no, this is called idols and decks, uh, added support for redeeming codes for in-game items in the store, and that could mean a lot of things, some pretty exciting things. Um, usually when you see redeeming codes... Um, in a video game, it means you're sometimes buying items in real life, and they come with some kind of code to unlock something in the game. It could we could get stuff like that. How awesome it would be if we can if we can get scroll packs, like actual paper scrolls in stores, and you, they all have little codes you can get them in your game. Um, or like I saw Crad Sesher saying, like little scrolls plushies, and you can. Uh, get that like scrolls action figures scrolls merchandising just merchandising all around but um thinking of all that stuff might be getting a little too ahead of ourselves um this could simply just i don't know just mean for i don't know maybe some just prizes just might just giving out codes instead of some other things so i don't know you can read as much into that line as you want and um yeah i just forgot to mention it so there you go